Hey guys, JCM here, and we are back in Take on Mars. And real quick, I want to show you guys another scenario I designed. I call it the Sandbox. And it's for basically messing around and figuring the stuff out. So let me show you what I've made over here. Over here I got pretty much every resource uh, in the game in these barrels, and they're all uh, from counterclockwise all the way down to the, uh, uh, the bottom of the list. It goes pretty much by the list. Oh yeah, and over here too. So it kind of begins over here with, uh, what is that? Yeah, carbon dioxide, and then ends with uh, this one here, glue. So it goes all the way around, and in the middle I got all the three uh, uh, main resources. Uh, see. Martian atmosphere. Yeah, I think this is rock. Now, this might be soil. Yeah, that's soil. And rock. So. That's pretty fun to make. <laughs> I had fun making this. Go over here. Just can get pretty much an idea here. So, I got uh, the basic vehicles. Um, you got your uh, mobile laboratory, your truck. <clears throat> you have a forklift that I've never seen before, and then your buggy, and then your science car or something. So, and over here I set up power. Uh, it's all ready to go. I even just let the game sit so I can charge up. So let's see what you guys got here. We got 40 kilowatts, I think that says. KWH. So you got more than enough power to <clears throat> mess around with whatever you need. So anyway, I have to come in here because my game saves are bugged with sound or something. There's a it keeps crashing, so I found that if I come in here and mess around a little bit, it it loads normally. For some reason, if I go straight into my save game, it just crashes. I have no idea why. So, I'm do that. And then I'm going to exit. And hopefully, I won't crash. Here we go. Excuse me. Oh, I just had a big breakfast today. Uh, scrambled eggs with onions, and, or no, green onions, and uh, homemade uh, potatoes O'Brien using, using a bit uh, uh, crap. I forget potato type. It's a big baking potato. Oh my god, it was delicious. I made a little taco out of it with a soft uh, flour tortilla and a bit of. Yeah, medium cheddar cheese. And, oh my god, it was delicious. I don't think I chewed it. I think I just inhaled it. So, anyway, <clears throat> we're here on the uh, module. And so, what was I doing? All right, I'm up there. Uh, I gotta refine some resources before I can continue. So let me get that done with. And I want to come back in the daytime so I can show you some of uh, the changes I made. So, I'll, I'll be right back. Alrighty. Spent the last night in my pop tent. And, uh, since I got my base finished, now I can pretty much stow this away somewhere. I'm gonna miss this little thing. <laughs> Last night, uh, refining some uh, uh, rock and stuff. All right, doors are open. Okay. All right, where do I put you? Ooh. Oh man, that breakfast has drained my energy. Yeah, right, I'll just dump you over here, I guess. Right. Come on, just stand 
have string. Okay, so I figured out the problem with uh, the atmosphere in the base. Let me show you. Um, it wasn't a problem with the mod uh, building piece itself. It was a problem with the way I designed it. And uh, get in here. Okay, so the modder, oh, that mod uh, told me that I need to put these life support uh, uh, things into each of these uh, spaces here, and so I did, and I tried put it, replacing it where the window was, but I, I ended up missing that window. I really like that window for some reason. So I uh, moved the power. Uh, where the power, pl uh, solar panels plug in, and so I had to evacuate the atmosphere from the main room, and then go in and put uh, life support monitor or module there, and another one in the uh, hydroponics bay here. So, which I found a really nice spot for, right here. <clears throat> so now I can go in here without a suit. Oh, and I got my uh, hydroponics going. I wanted to film that, but I was kind of in a hurry to get things done. So um, I installed fertile soil and water, and now I have potatoes. And two of them are ready to harvest. But I'm going to hold on to the, that. Um, I also moved my power over here in the corner here. I moved my solar panels over, plugged them in there. So now this base is fully operational. Oh yeah, and I uh, put in a light in here because it seemed kind of dark. So anyway, so I got three hydroponics. Hopefully that'll be enough solid food for me. I still got to deal with my water. I need to make a water fountain thing. And I think I'll put it over here in the corner. Probably right there. So, yeah. Oh, and I've uh, found those signs mod, and I put them in. So, I got a sign for hydroponics. I got uh, one for bed, the bedroom, and I got one for uh, the uh, radiation shelter, which is the uh, airlock. So, oh, and I found one for a bathroom right here. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, yeah, and I got the toilet working. So I got my water, and I got an empty one for the human waste. So let's try that out here. And it's almost time for breakfast. And I think I'm done. So let's have a look. Let's see here. Ah. Yep, it works. So now I have a way to make uh, fertile soil, I think. Check my waters. Okay, that was already about half. So I have no idea how much water it uses. It uses in the sandbox I designed it, it uses very little water. So I don't know. Okay, oh uh, yeah, and I moved my vitamins in here. So. Okay, now let's get back out and. Uh, Get back to work, because I'm in the middle of making out 3D printers for the cargo truck. So, let's get that going on. And I want to show you something else, too, that I, I, I put up. So, let me get out here. So, what is it? Oh, 900 in the morning? So, I gotta move those boxes, huh? Alright, I'm still, I still got some food left, surprisingly built this thing uh, in time, so this is from a mod, I think it's from the mod. It's a beacon, and it doesn't plug in to anything, but <coughs> it's an automatic light, too. Let me see. Can I turn it off? And at night, it turns on and illuminates this whole area, and it shines into my airlock, so it's not pitch black, so it clips through the wall. 
which I am going to forgive for now because I, <laughs> yeah, I kind of need a light in there to see. <laughs> and this is the large radio tower that I, I just really wanted there for decoration. I don't think it really does anything. So I just I just spawned it using the editor because uh, I have dev mode saved on this uh, gameplay. So I just put it in here because I thought I could make my 3D printer tall enough, but I can't. Not without making like some sort of scaffold and climbing it to get up that tall. For some reason it won't fit. Yeah, it's just too big. It's too tall. Oh yeah, and um, let's see. Let me pan around here. I want to show you some things. So, I dumped all my uh, excess stuff over here in a big pile. Uh, so I got one cable left to use. I don't think I need it. Uh, I found some flag walls mod and I put those out just for the hell of it. I have one in the front. Let's see. No, I don't. I, I don't have it. I think it's right where, where, that, where that power outlet is. It used to be there, I think. I'm not sure. So, yeah. Whew. Man, this was a lot of hard work. A lot of hard work. And I need to produce water. So, if my refinery's done. Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna go ahead and process my Mars soil and start making water because I want to make that water fountain. But I need a barrel of water. Situate this area. Oh boy, it's getting crowded. Oh yeah, and I also made this light because I never really messed with it. It's actually pretty handy. It actually shines on everything over here, and I don't have to use my headlamp, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'm surprised that one. Uh, M thingy, I don't know what it's called, uh, powers this, this whole area, this refinery, this, both printers, and the light, so, pretty happy with that. <laughs> Still got food left over. So I'm gonna eat up all those boxes before I go on to the potatoes. And I think I'll put them over here. Yeah, just by the stairs. Doesn't want to turn. Doesn't want to turn. You can see my mouse hand right now. I'm going literally going like this. <laughs> okay, so what's my health? Oh, goody. Yeah, Alright. So I got my drills working overtime. I'm filling the barrels that I just refined. Uh, I should probably check on those panels. Caked. Look at that. You gotta keep an eye on our solar panels. They'll get caked. Look at that. Yeah. Okay, how am I doing on power? Uh, let's see here. 116. It's pretty good. Especially with that power boost mod that I have. I don't think I could run two of these with the amount of power generators I got on normal gameplay. So. Third one. So yeah, uh, it turns out I just needed to add those life support modules to those different rooms. Uh, the bedroom didn't need one because uh, I had the design so that uh, the boxes of atmosphere can just 
stack into it easily. So, didn't work out. The way they've made this game is a little weird. So, I got lucky with that. It wasn't a bug with the mod. So now, <laughs> over here, if you hear me about the drills, is where I'm going to build the truck. So, I ran out of uh, materials and had to make some fun. So, that's like the right I need to build. Okay, I kind of just need three. I'm gonna put all five. Yeah, yeah, five. I can count. I know how to count. Yep, one water. But what does two do? What does type two do? Uh, oh, right. Still one water. Okay, well, I, I don't need potassium. So I think I'll do a type two. I will need silicon oxide for sure. When oop. When I uh, make a uh, windows, I think this. I think windows takes so. Yep. A lot. Wow. Okay. Three. So yeah, I'm definitely doing. setup. I really love those storage racks. Those are a wonderful mod. So just so you guys get them. Okay, so for printing the cargo truck I need it to be um, eight floors long. Where's my tool? Where's my tool? And I need it four floors wide. And I tested this in the sandbox I made. Oh, yeah, and I reorganized my atmosphere things, and they're probably full. Let me check. Yep, they're all full. Okay. I'll mess with that when I need to. So, it needs to be eight long, four wide, and uh, three glass panels tall. And this is all without counting. very boring to watch, so I'll just wait until I'm halfway done. <laughs> so, I'll come back later. Alright, I think before the day is out, I'm going to make that water fountain thing. What the hell is it called? Water station? I think it's called a water station. And before I run out of materials, too. <coughs> see, I have enough water to bother with. 120. Yeah, that's worthwhile. this inside. Now, I've never used one of these before, so this should be interesting. We're going to get an SUD. Oh god. Uh, oh god. Hey. Hey. Can't reach it. Can't reach the button. Move. Did I get it? Yep, I got it. Whew. I 
I think for my main base, I'm gonna make my airlock gigantic. I don't know. I just feel claustrophobic in here. I think I'll have three suit holders. That's what I'll do. No, no it doesn't go that way. Yeah, it goes that way. Okay, where can I put you? Let's see. I think I'll put you right here. And a little farther. How about there? Alright, so. No water left. Okay, I'll mess with that later. And how are we going on, going on solar flares? When is the next one? 39 minutes. I think that's real time. I'm not sure. Okay, I think I'll refill my suit. Oh god, I just had a terrible thought. Now, when I was building uh, those printers and in other gameplays, uh, I had to completely disassemble the damn thing because there was some sort of uh, placement bug. And about the only way I figured out how to fix it was to take the first uh, part that I installed and uninstall it and reinstall it. And that seemed to fix the bug, but I forget which one I put down. Well, that and I did move them around a bit. I wanted them over here, but the terrain rose up and got in the way, so I had to move it over here. So, maybe I already did that part. So, yeah, I started over here. I started at the front. <coughs> so, I think it was one of these. But... So I pretty much, I think I already did that anti-bug thing I, I figured out. So, we'll find out when I power it up and just try to make a truck. Oh god, I really don't want, I really don't want to have to disassemble the whole thing. <laughs> that would suck. Yeah, I'm going to put the power over here. I think I'll, yeah, I think I'll just, uh, yeah, I'll use that existing power source over there. I'll also make an extra long uh, cable. Okay, now to break the tub and then build it up. Okay. Okay. TV really helps with tight mass. Okay, so I'm calling it a night here. So I need a little bit more. show you guys this light. <laughs> oh man, it comes on automatically after sunset. It's bright, I don't need my headlamp anymore. So, anyway, I just wanted to show you that real quick before I call it a day here. Oh, look at that, it's working. And <laughs> just that sunrise too. Uh oh, 35 seconds. Better get in there. <laughs> Just in time, too. Let's see what the alarm says. Oh! Solar event in progress. Warning, solar event in progress. Wow. So it sounds better over on this side. Oh, I can't hear it. Oh, I guess it was just a weird bug that one time. Warning, solar event in progress. Hmm. Warning, solar event maximum. Maximum? Warning, solar event in progress. 
Warning, solar event in progress. I can get anything using a big printer parts. About three tall, I think. Uh, not including the uh, edge. So, I decided since uh, th last time in the experiment, uh, the truck faced it east. So I'm going to have the opening uh, on this side. So I should have clearance for it. Oh yeah, I got clearance. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm good. Okay. Let's see. And my pop pie should be done in 20 minutes. Working late into the night here. If I had to move my uh, <laughs> uh, sp um, I don't know what you call it, spotlight or something. Just so I can see over here. Oh man. So I ate my pot pie. I don't know if he, anybody else does this, but I like to um, mix my pot pies. I get the large ones. I got a chicken one. Oh, almost had it. There we go. I got a chicken one here, and then I mixed about like one fourth of this uh, Campbell's cr uh, creamy chicken soup, and Jesus Christ, is it good! This this is wonderful. This is, oh it fills it out. I'll tell you what, I love it. So anyway, <laughs> just wanted to uh, share that with you. Oh my God, I used to mix uh, pot pies and uh, ramen noodles, like chicken and pot pies and chicken and ramen noodles. But then I read the back of the ramen noodles and there were like 300 carbohydrates. I was like, nope, not doing that anymore. This is only like uh, total carbs, you know, 18 Gs, 18 grams. So, now it says calories 470 in this whole thing. So yeah, I only eat like a like yeah, like only one fourth of it. Only add one fourth of this whole can, whole this whole big ass can to it, and man, it just. They just go so well together. I also got a uh, was a vegetables and beef for my beef pot pies, and that is really good. So, oh man, I am loving those. <clears throat> so yeah, I only had like one fourth of a can to it, and it just fills it out and just just completes it, just completes the pot pie. So, oh. so I'm gonna sit here and watch. Live PD on the TV and continue building this fucker. Gotcha. Ah, oh, crap, I saw him backwards. There we go. There. He's perfect. Whew. It's gonna be fun putting in the glass on this, I swear to god. I think giving Buddy a paper bag to play in was a bad idea. Okay, that makes two walls. And I'll just hide that. Don't need to see that. <laughs> I ran out of silicone oxide and my carpal tunnel is coming back, so I never really wanted to get, get at least halfway there before the end of the sh day here, so I spun a creative 3D printer. <laughs> uh, I tell you, developer mode is nice, especially if your hands are cramping up. You know, Gabby, you're right in the way. Right in the way, right in the way. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. You're, you're okay. You're okay. Alright, I need to eat. Hold on. Let's see here. Alright, what am I doing here? What am I doing here? Yeah, I'm out. 
I gotta farm more silicon here, which I want to do. Which I want to do. I want to show the process of getting the resources. So I'll come back to that uh, on the next day. I'm gonna take a break and let some time pass. Let's see. Oh, I'm also out of almost out of food. Should probably check on the uh, potatoes. I want to see how they're doing. Getting pretty low on this stuff. Because I've been using the uh, develop mode and creative printer, I don't have a clue on how long my food would realistically uh, last, um, and how uh, how long this would take. Cause I just can't do it. I just I can't play it normal uh, style like I intended. Cause my uh, my hands all cramped up and shit. So. And I really want to see how far, <laughs> I really want to get farther than I ever have before in this scenario too. So, uh, it's like a bit of a conundrum for me. So, is it safe? All right. Did I turn off the music? I think I turned off the music. All right, hold on. Let's see sound. Yep. I don't remember if I filmed anything in here, so I'll just leave this alone. Why do I still have a drill? Okay. Oh, those are really forward. I did not realize that. Well, I, I got plenty of room here. I'm, I'm good. Alright, first one. Only two? Huh. I wonder why only two. That one's got three. That one's got none. Discard seeds. What's going on here? Dead seeds? It seems the seeds are... What? It seems the seeds are dead and failed to germinate. It is best to dispose of them. I didn't know that was a thing. Is that a thing, guys? Oh, crap. Dead seeds are a thing? Oh, wow. Oh, hello. Can you eat that? Hey. More dead seeds. Okay, so... That's... Oh, wow, that's scary. Okay, so... How do I get out now? Um, huh. Dead seeds. I didn't know that was a thing in this game. I didn't think the devs would put in, like, that much detail. Dead seeds. I never, never even heard of that. How do seeds be dead? They're never alive yet. They're just dormant. Gabby, go play. Huh, okay, that's a thinker. I did not know that. Gabby, what's the matter? You got, you got a big old plate of cat food right there. Look at that. Oh, I love you too. Now go play. Go get right in the middle. Boop. <laughs> okay, so uh, is it because of the radiation, the solar flares? Because this isn't shielded. The initial design was to have this big. Uh, hallway be sh completely shielded but then I decided eh, I'll just do it with the airlock instead so, and so uh, yeah might need to might need to do some retrofitting here huh yeah. cause I don't see any other way for them to be dead unless I've got some mess up with the environmental I don't know. I have no idea. These are dead too, right? Yep, dead. 
some more dead. Huh. Okay, these are not my, Okay, let me discard some dead ones. Okay, crap. Discard those. Man, that's probably half my my uh, inventory. Okay, let's make sure those are dead. Okay. Jeez. Make sure they're dead. Okay. So that's that is nuts. Huh. Why did they fail, fail to germinate? I mean, you got you got a high quality soil from Earth and high quality water from Earth. How the hell is what's going on? I don't know. I am so confused. Uh, this whole one here, none of these are germinating. Whatever the hell that means. Germinate. What, germinate? What, what do you mean? Turn German? What, what does that mean? <laughs> I don't know, guys. Oh, man. Okay, um... I don't see anything wrong with this. Of course, I'm not sure what I'm looking at. So... I've been told that it has to be at 0 0.3 atmospheres. Or if I want to use these uh, hydroponics stuff, so I don't know. I'm so confused. <sighs> I'm so worried and confused. I yawn. All right. Man, this is weird. Uh, I'm gonna look around on the the uh, Steam forums for this game and see if. If it really is that sort of flares that are doing it. So I'll be right back. Uh, after I watch this uh, Drunk History episode. Alright, it's the next day here in game. And so I clean out all the dead seeds. And I discovered that I can move the potato plants in my inventory. Which I didn't know you could do. So I can move them around and put them in different uh, things. Hydroponics base so I did that and what I'm thinking about doing just to see if the solar flares and radiation thing is uh, affecting the potato seeds because right now I got all my all the seeds I collected from the current batch uh, right now I have no room to harvest these ones right now so I'll wait until I eat up, eat up all these potatoes um, so I got a bunch of uh, seeds saved away what I think I'll do is I'll you go into developer mode and change out all these parts and uh, use the uh, extra items 2.0 rad shielded windows and walls. And basically this rad shield this whole compartment here. Maybe except for the floor, I don't know. So I think I might do that just as an experiment to see what happens to the potato seeds. Let's see if I get less or more. because. Think if we, uh, well, if you go back and look at how many seeds, because one, the one on the far right, yeah, the one way down here, it didn't grow any potato plants. None. I have no idea why. I mean, the sun rises right over there. So I don't know. Maybe. Yep. I don't know. So I'll come back to this later. I'm going to get that 3D printer going. Um, but I'm gonna harvest some. <clears throat> I need silicon dioxide, so let me get on that. What happened? Iron oxide, okay. What's the matter, Gabby? What's the matter, Gabby? Yeah, one minute. One minute. Get over here. There we go. What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you today? Huh? Huh? What's the matter? Warning, 
solar event in progress. Alright, I want to try out that water fountain real quick. Brand new day with brand new sh thing. Oh yeah, um, I got a little hair on my ass and decided to rebuild the uh, greenhouse. So I spent a couple hours doing that. <laughs> I'll show you around in a minute. Also noticed something really weird. I don't know if it's a bug, but the extra items 2.0's um, red shielded um, life support module. I, uh, I, used, I tried using that at first to re-atmosphere uh, the greenhouse, but it wouldn't work. It wouldn't pick up on the, uh, uh, yeah, the, the barrels I have in the main uh, room. So I instead uh, switched it out with a regular game one, and it works. It works now, so I don't know what to think about that. I want to wanna let the uh, developer know, uh, the guy that made the mod know about that. Oh, and, um, I also just went ahead and deleted the, uh, uh, the hydroponics bays with everything on them, because, uh, I'm, I don't know if the seeds or plants are irradiated or not, so I just remade them all from scratch, um, just as a kind of a control to see what really happens, so. Hold E. Oh. Let me try this thing out real quick. I never used it before. Water is pretty good. I still need some food. Oh, I can just drink straight straight from it. Okay. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I like it a lot. Okay. So, I just went and I spawned a creative 3D printer and I just went full art hard with it. Just rad shielded everything. And I decided to use these curved window walls because I don't like the other ones. Because if you look at these, uh, these corners, they're clean. They're too clean. They don't match up. So I just went with these instead. And I spun in some uh, containers so I could store my potatoes in them. <laughs> so I went ahead and I planted three seed bags each. So we'll see whether or not if uh, any of them just turn up, oh right, I forgot the, uh, yeah, I'm dumb, I'm dumb, plant seeds, plant seeds, plant seeds, okay, any of them dead, no, come on, examine, okay, those are okay, alright, so those are all good, so plant these, I don't know if I ever showed you this before, but you gotta plant them, nutrients like my own poop okay so when I was using that rad shield uh, life support I couldn't figure out what to do to fix it so I took out this window and put in a barrel slot wall and that didn't help and it didn't work so then I just replaced it completely with uh, <clears throat> a regular game one that's not rad shielded and now it works so that's a weirdo thing okay so I'll let a couple days pass let them do their thing and hope that this works so and I think this looks a little bit nicer let's send a little bit light I added the uh, uh, windows to the back area over here behind the the uh, hundred punks pods or things whatever you call them and yeah, I think it looks a little nicer. Could probably put a window there. But I kind of like having that there. And yeah, actually, yeah, it's kind of weird. Kind of weird. But I already got a big old window over here, so I don't know. Crap. Yeah. Crap. No, I don't know if I want a window there or not. I don't know. I don't 
think about it. But anyway, so that is the green. I'll write the corner. Right, okay. I can't do anything about that. That's just gonna have to stay there. So. Yeah. I like the feel of this. This is nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Alright, so. Back to that monster. <laughs> I really want to finish this video tonight. Um, that and whole finishing those windows and stuff would probably take me about three or more, four more days. I'd have to sit and wait for the soil um, harvesters to do rounds of filling the barrels up and stuff. So I don't know if I'm gonna do that. I think I'll just res a creative printer and just finish it so I can finish this episode because uh, it. It's already taken a lot out of me right, right already tonight. And I really want to get that done so I can edit this video and get it up and running t by tomorrow. Get it posted by tomorrow. So, I think I'll just do that. Alright, see you outside. Oh, come on, really? Oh, what the hell? That's an effort. That's an effort. <laughs> okay, moment of truth. Hopefully it'll say no power and not incomplete. Oh, man, I hope it doesn't say complete. I'm not gonna look. What's it say? What does it say? Yes. Oh. Oh, fuck. I do not want to disassemble that fucker. Really don't want to disassemble that. Oh god. That would have been a nightmare. Oh. Okay. Alright, I don't need you. So. Oh, so. oh okay. Yeah. I'll just throw it over there for now. Alright, so I forget what resources I need to make that truck. So we're going to have a quick look here. Let's see. That might be enough. Oh man, I'm lagging. Ah. Now is that green? Green to red. Come on, get over there. Alright. Hope I have enough juice for this one. I don't know if it matters or not. Okay, so we got power. Vehicles. Yep, see? Now it's big enough. Okay, so we need 650 iron. That's like... Yeah, I can do that in two barrels. Okay. Need aluminum. That's 420. That's another two barrels. So that's four barrels. One silicon, one silicon oxide. One argon for the lights. And one fabric. Do I have fabric? How do you make fabric? Hold on. I gotta get out of here. Alright, do I even have fabric? Maybe I'm... I don't know. Fabric, fabric, fabric. One fabric equals... So I need carbon. Oh, that's what I had the hydrogen safely for. Oh. And nitrogen oxide. Okay, so, well I still have one barrel. Okay. I thought I spawned a barrel of fabric just to make those uh, couches. Did 
Did I do that? Or didn't I? I can't remember. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay. I was wondering what that one was. Right, I made some fabric to make the couches. And sofa, or whatever. Okay, so I got some fabric. How much did I need? Okay, fabric is 25. I think I had 55 in that barrel. So, and plastic is 35. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> I am burnt out. I want to finish this video. This, yeah, the episode 2 was for, for the printer itself, getting it done. So, mission accomplished there. I'll make the truck in the next episode. So, and I think, jail? I don't know. Trying to figure out if I want to dump my plastic and barrel in fabric. I think I might do that. I'm not sure. I just feel better if I made some fresh fabric and plastic. Just to feel like I accomplished something instead of cheating. So I might do that. I'll I'll work on it tomorrow. I'll figure my shit out. So all right. Let's go see if we got anything in there. Let's go see if we got any plants. And I want to see it in the daytime. Okay, so printer's done. Hey, look at that! Okay, there's two plants in that one. Two in there and two in there. Nope, just one in there. Okay. So, what's going on? Are they dead? Oh, fuck! Both of them. Both of them are dead. Why? That's weird. I thought I had this thing shielded. Huh. Well, maybe it's a random thing. I don't know. Okay, so one bag of seeds in there is dead. I guess this one's two. So I guess it's a percentage or something. I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure. This is perplexing, guys. Uh. Well, at least I can still grow them. I can, I can get potatoes out of it, but for some reason, some seeds don't germinate. And I don't know why. Because th I started these in a fully red shielded uh, environment here. So, I don't know. Maybe? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I guess. I don't know. Maybe, because I did use some of the old seed bags, or the old seeds, uh, from the previous, uh, harvest, and maybe they were contaminated. Maybe these are the contaminated ones. So, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm burnt out, honestly. <laughs> uh, okay, and I gotta edit this episode together, too. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'm sorry I had to use a 3D printer here and there. I. It would have taken me so much longer. And I would have burnt out my hand here burned out my mouse hand, so, okay, so, like and subscribe, now is a good view, let me see that, yeah, let me just see it from the bedroom, uh, it doesn't have a long window, yeah, yeah, it's not the same, it's the same, Add long windows there. Yeah, I could add a. Yeah, I could add a rectangular windows there. Why didn't I? Huh. Yeah, that would probably look pretty nice, huh? Crap! Why didn't I? All right, I'll work on that later. <laughs> okay, you guys uh, have fun. Uh, I'm gonna crash. So, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode where we will uh, 
farm materials, resources, and build that truck. And then, I don't know yet. Well, we'll figure it out later. So, yeah. Alright. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.